so welcome good night evening morning wherever you are hello everyone um so yes today we we'll start with what is elixim and then how to query them and how to find them so we would forward you let's go to my screen so this is the wikidata homepage. you know it and you probably already also know the search engine when you can look for instance for a dog uh, i'm in french sorry english that's it in french okay so if you look for dog what it usually give you is dog the domestic animal as an item q144 which is dog in every language in the end it's the concept the id behind the world so you have dog household perro chien canet which is all different words and if you want specific data about these labels these little words when you do a search you have to put l semicolon dog for instance to stay on dog and you go to the search result and there you find uh, the english verb to dog not sure what it is and the english noon and also other languages where dog is a word too uh, and then word totally unrelated so how you go um so just before we had dog as a concept language neutral or all language whatever and you had property and data about the dog as a concept as a whole here you have lexical information about the specific word dog in english and specifically about the part of speech or lexical category now and then you have some information uh, on three levels you have the main level with information true for whatever the form of the sense and then you have specificities for depending on the sense here you are and below specificity about the forms so forms is quite easy to understand it's just the different flexion the different way you can write the same word for instance here you have dog at the singular or dogs plural uh, you can imagine for a verb for instance there will be a lot of different forms this is also where you can store different uh, variation or dialectal thingy stuff like that it's at the form level and sense is what you use the word for for instance you have dog um, domestic mammal related to the wolf for instance here's a cute dog and you have a second sense which is tool in engineering and if you open the tube where is it sorry here you have dog the domestic animal and you see that for instance in german is haushund and this dog as a tool in engineering is called in german fensterladen alter sorry uh, or in french crochet de volet which has nothing to see and this is why we need to to have specific data about lexim because sometimes you have the same word in one language dog here yeah, that has not the same translation in other language so concept are language neutral i guess or multilingual where a lexem lexim is inside one specific language so besides from that all the information you see a property and a value property can be value image um, and whatever you want uh, it's quite not unusual as long as you know wikidata it's more or less the same uh, thing 
you don't have identifier or wiki links because there's no page on any Wikipedia project, Wikimedia project about a specific word. So that's it for for the Lexim presentation in general. If you have question, don't hesitate to ask. I'm here for that. Um, but otherwise, we'll straight go to the Sparkle queries because that's where the sparkles and the fun happen. Um, for instance, we'll start slowly as usual and go to do more and more complicated um, query as long as we go. So as always, there's a select, a where, a star to get all the variable we compute. And then you can say, give me all lexemes. Uh, what can we say as an easy one? Which derives from the word dog. Uh, this will be in English. Again. Uh, Yes, sorry. Uh, they write from this one, for instance. I'm not sure if it will give result. No, it doesn't give result. I'll switch to English. Oh, there's no word. Dog whistle. I saw it. Dog whistle like that. Yes, it exists. Oh, there's no data about that. Oh, that's why. And it's not derived, it's compound. Um, I can say water. Um, elixir. Uh, oh, I wanted to do something simple, but we'll give all the world with an inventor discover inventor and the guy person who did it inventor this one i know it works allegedly yes it does work so question in the chat how to write comment in sparkle that's super easy that's a dash and this is a comment and you can put it at the end of a line or at the beginning before if you want so for instance uh, a meaningful comment here would be query all words with inventor and since we want more than just the basic result here the numbers are not useful i will use the wikibase label service to get the name of the inventor and uh, for the lexim, I don't want the label, it doesn't exist. It's the lemma, which is Wikibaz lemma. I can put it here now. Lemma inventor inventor label. So query all words with inventor. Uh, or gave the lemma of the lexeme, for instance. So here's an example. So you have several words, for instance, pieuvre in French has been invented in a large sense by Victor Hugo uh, because no one used it in French before him, or not really. Um, you have the word Google, which is, has been invented by Milton Sirota. Or obviously, COVVF, uh, which has been invented again in a large sense, at least used in for the first time by Donald Trump, for instance. So here's a quick first query if I can share with you. Um, so if you already did Sparkle queries on regular. Uh, let's say about concept. This line should be quite easy. Uh, WDT P61, no problem, you know it. That part is more strange because uh, on Lexems, Lexems, you have very specific uh, instru Sparkle instruction that you need to know. 
for instance if i want to get the language um, it's dct language uh, this give the language of oh, lexin and you also have um ontolex lex, uh, no not ontolex wikibase lexical category uh, let's call it lexcat for instance give the part of speech of lexem uh, and if i add it there i need to add them here so lexcat label to get it in english and lang label also so this will give me the same result but with two more category uh, columns with a category of the word and the language for instance do, 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 do. that so covf is a noun in english google is a numeral in english Satan Archeologen Kolisch is an adjective in German. Pieuvre is a noun in French, and tetrapiectomy is a complex. Is it a complex? Let's put the lexem. I'm not used to English, maybe it's just that. Yeah, Kvf, that's a word, technically complex is it a lexical category psychology no that's wrong who did that i did that oh no i did not it was at the beginning yes so it should be uh should be just known there's no it's a compound noun but still unknown part of speech publish <laughs> question from Jan Jan in the chat is KVF noon or proven noon? I have no idea what KVF is and I guess the inventor of Donald Trump doesn't have a clue either. That was just a mistake. I'm not sure if they put something about that to make it clear or not. There should be. Does it work? Oh. Did I break? No. Uh, instance of neologism. That's good. Invented in 2017. It has no grammatical gender. And um, it's hypothesis that is derived from coverage. Okay word used presumably as a team of, of coverage i think there's be a lot of uh, uh, sources and references on what the did he meant and i'm sure we can find more information and you can you are free to improve it if you want um so i can share this which is basically the same as before with some in small improvement. Um, so right now, what we did is just uh, do query uh, instruction at the Lexem level, which is good. Um, but you might want to look at the other fun part of uh, like senses which is not present there or forms um, for instance we can have a fun query for lexim was ontolex lexical form which I will call form just to give you a hint of what it will give it will give you the lexim itself and then the forms 
uh, F1 in this case, which is our labeled here F1, F2, F3, F5, uh, and everything. And the fun part would be to group by lixim. And for each lixim, I can count the number of form. Uh, this way, uh, NB forms, for instance. Um, I won't do it for. Oh, I can. Maybe I can try to do it for all lixims. No, it's too big. Ah, uh, bad. I will refresh and only take uh, DCT language in English, for instance. That should be easier, maybe. Hopefully. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, you have a question by Helen. What's the difference between ontolex form and ontolex lexical forms? That's that's a very very good question. That you see that there are several traps. Like if you go ontolex, you have sense with a capital letter and sense with a small s here. Uh, and same, you have ontolex uh, form and indeed ontolex lexical form and this one and this one basically you never use them it's used to do yeah thanks maya for the explanation um ontolex form is a type that's a good way to say it and same for sense it's the same thing uh, basically if you want one sense or one specific form, you can use it, but you don't need to, to link to sense and forms. You use always the small caps, which is coming from Ontolex. We just retook it. And I can explain later if you want to. Um, bottom line, just use these two to get to the sense and to the form. Um, so here you are. You have in English uh, this word with uh, uh, 15 forms. No surprise, it's a verb. Uh, be, go, went, uh, no, be, been. Uh, oh, my English is bad, uh, sorry. Be, I am, you are, is, where, was, been, being, are. Yes, at the other persons, where, be, etc., etc. Apostrophe M for contraction. Um, so for the fun part, no, B, not B, sorry. Um, for the fun part, you can find the word with the most forms. In English, it's not a very productive language for flexion, but in uh, Basque, for instance, you have a lot, lot of forms. And if you go the other way around uh, for Lixim with zero or just one form, uh, you know that's probably an error that you need to complete. So you can use that for. Uh, oh, actually not for adjective. It's OK, I guess. To have just one. Um, but it can be used to to improve quality of lexem. Uh, I see that I s yes, Hugo Lopez had the question how to filter by language. If you want to filter by language of the lexem, uh, this is by this uh, Dublin Core term uh, prefix DCT language, and then just the Wikidata item. Rector, yeah, I'm not sure it's more wet. Whatever, I'm not sure how you build superlative and comparative in in English for this case. And does rect er exist or not? That's a good question. Um, so, but I know that nouns at least 
and we saw just before what you can do uh, wikibaz lex category and if I take noon this this one should have always more than one if I filter yes this one has one and I'm pretty sure oh it's come from the English the Greek so I'm not sure how you put it uh, this is good question uh, what I can do also is put lixim wikibase wikibase lemma it will be easier to see than before uh, as always when you add something here to do a count you need to have the same group or it, you have an error lemma with a, a this way oh microphone a mic probably on mics things like that six forms yes mic mics mics like that oh nice i didn't know that that's cool and yeah permeabilization definitely you can save uh, there's a you can go down i can take the same basis put one s and say it's the plural form and that's it that's the way you can use it for instance to improve um forms and since we have each form um uh, i can do i'm not sure if we work well but on to the next representation rep and i can do a group concat as and i will take the rep and put them in a new variable called reps and basically it will add a new um, columns with all the forms themselves the that's mike's mike's yes it is and asharazan is saying since it's a process i'm not sure there's a plural for permeabilization i'm pretty sure there is that's a good question to ask but yeah you can say or even it's one thing you can say always the old and the new one like friends oh there's just one friends but there's the friends of last year and the friends of this year so there's the francis so proper noun can have plural and things like that so i'm pretty sure permeabilization should have a oh um meanwhile i'm not sure what it's not working group concat should not be a problem oh timeout what's what's a bummer why did i do the mistake mm -hmm. i guess not I just add that presentation that's strange Uh, let's took Britain because I know there's not a lot of word in Britain to know to, to be sure if it's work yeah this one work to many form in English will time lapse like that yeah but yeah I know so for instance you have oh Britain is a very productive word uh, uh, language for flexion so for instance you have a pescatore which is a fisherman 
and you have a lot lot of how you say fishermen or key which is dog again you have 13 of them and i'm not sure they're all here um, pretty much all here um so that's it i will share this one with you before going to the next pescator yeah more or less more or less pescator um, pesk definitely this part definitely come from uh, the latin uh, this part not so much not the t t a um, but whatever uh, so i had other very interesting questions so we will look first at how do you say color or center or harmonize for the verb in english uh, noon or verb whatever and you see that you can put the language of the lexeme itself is just plain english that you can put en on engb uh three biscuits uh or ngb to put the uh, british uh, pronunciation and then you can look probably harmonize i would say i'm not sure harmonize that's a good one and um, that should be the same exactly the same english and english gb uh, because for some reason that can shock a bit some people but by default en alone is defined by a lot of corporation uh, in the iso code and things like that as uh, united state english which is not the original english but yeah whatever um, so that answer your question for us and uh, British writing, I guess. And here they did that. And they put all form always together. But here I think it's a bad idea if you want to use it. Um, yeah, whatever. But th that works too, but that's not optimal, I would say. This implies that EN is EN US. Yeah, there's no EN US, and by default, if you look at all the ISO 639 code and how they defined it, English, it's said to be American English for some reason, which is strange. But whatever. And then. Uh, uh, you had a question I want in English the word orange which is a noon this is an easy one I can do for you so select where as usual so you want lixim which is uh, what did you say in English the word orange which is a noon so we can start with language which is English West Germanic, okay, and you want the Wikibase lexical category, which is uh, noon, you said, and you want it to have a Wikibase lemma, which is orange, like that, maybe? I'm not sure for the last part, something like that, at least. I'll try that. Yeah! That works. Perfect. Hey, Tigrin. Nice to see you here. Um, so, yeah, basically, that's it. Uh, quick and funny answer for you. Um, usually, you get, if you get this specific, you only get one answer, but you can have fun, for example, for French, if you look for two. French, noon, to oh, dot if here, of course. That's it. In French, you have three results. 
um, because there are three world tour. As I said last week, you can check the video on YouTube in French to understand why. But I can show it already like that. Lexim. Uh, yeah, you can use a grammatical gender to get the gender and uh, derive from. Why derive from? Derived? Oh. Derived from, but not derived. Etymology, we'll say something like that. Oh, there's only one way. Let's put an optional. Ah, yes, they all have a gender, but only one has etymology. Ah, that's bad. Uh, but that's good somehow. Um, so here you can get a specific language and a specific uh, part of speech lexical category for a specific uh, string. And you can ask with optional to get more information. And I can put it because you don't speak. Uh, Um, does that work? No, it won't work. No, it doesn't work. Um, it's in uh, lemma. I will do a quick etymology wiki base lemma. Let's call it etym lemma. That way, that should work. Yes. So we are looking for all the two in French. In French, all the noon, which has two, and I'm get, uh, if there is optionally, I'm looking for the grammatical gender on the derivation, and you see that you have one feminine word two, which is a building, and you have two masculine one, which can be a tool or a movement, like the Tour de France. Uh, is actually masculine, but the Babel Tower or Eiffel Tower are actually the this lexim, not the same. And they come from different words in uh, all in Latin, actually. That's it. So I guess this should plainly answer your question, Hugo. If you have more questions, don't hesitate. And that's it. Uh, I hope it was clear. Um, I don't know if you have questions. I see a lot of things in the chat, but no, no request of query. You don't have any specific ID. Babel Tower is where all our problems began. Oh well, where all the fun began, that can be one way to see it. Oh, Maya is sharing, I'm guessing, a very interesting query. Path of four derived from L311415, okay. But I guess we'll quickly learn what it is. Okay, it's not exactly clear, but okay. Is it drachma like the money of something? Okay, that's fun. Um, we'll start by looking quickly at the query. The Greek lexim, okay, that's what I thought. So we put a specific instruction to say, oh, I want the result in a graph, not in a table like always. And you get, uh, you do some fancy thing to show it nicely, and you starting with one lexim. You are looking for all lexim derived or composed, I guess, combined. 
off this one and you put everything together so I put this to be more readable like that and oh yes and the other one itself derived or is combined from something else you get the DCT language okay yes okay is Greek the first one is it really needed this line not sure and then you get the lemma to show it um, the lemma of EAG and you put them as yes as language okay yeah that's a fun query the DCG language line isn't necessary that's what I guess because K as ready is Greek so that's just confusing people that's bad you should never put things that are not needed and when you execute it you have this nice so where is the Greek in that I'm guessing at the beginning of everything where that the line starts from you have to go back to go back oh oh it's not inside but you can see that jerem uh, in english come from jerem in turkish which came from i don't know which language is that but this come from farsi which come from arab which come from english again. Uh, no and that's it no which came from this world ah which came from here, which is the English, the Greek world at the origin of everything. And this world gave that and that, and you can see everything. That's cool query. OTA over the year. Over the year is not a language, uh, automa yeah, Turkish, or Turkish, basically. That makes sense. And you spotted it before me yes the drachm is here uh, which is cool with oh sorry with this query is that if you don't want drachm but something else you can just change the word uh, for instance um what can i take um, i need an ancient word um, tourists in latin um, Auto completion does not always work. Latin noon, that's the one. Not sure there will be a lot of results, but it should give you at least tour in French and maybe tour. Oh, ah, and tower. That's good. So, tourists in Latin. And what I like, I should not do that first. Uh, you have a graph itself and you see that tourists in Latin gave Torre in, in Spanish, Tour in French, which gave Tour de Babel, Babel Tour, and it gave a Tower and Water Tour in English. And the fun part is when you click on a word, you can have more information. Like Tour de Babel is a phrasim, Tour is feminine, Tourist is used is feminine, it's used internationally, it came from the Whitaker Latin frequency type A, and it has been used at all time period of Latin. Latin world has strange information, let's say that quickly. So usually you don't have that much information, you have grammatical gender or things like that. Uh, English has no gender, so that's done. And if you want other word, you can just change this one and you can do other graph. Um, why are arrows pointing to the origin? It will be clearer the other way. That's how you want it. If you want to um, Put it in the overall world you can do it uh, you will just have to reverse things here uh, let's put suggestion 
87 which is water in old thing and you see that we worked a lot about water and so all these words go back to Danish because you have water pistol I guess watermelon water thing it goes back to none which is probably some old Norse or something which came from this old one which came from this old one and this old one and often um, here you have a lot of words actually that's every time I look at it it's more and more complete that's nice yeah thanks Maya you can just reverse property here if you want to change the sense of the arrow uh, here I don't use it a lot but when you put uh, uh, this little guy accent circumflex accent is it in English too you can do reverse property uh, ah that's not enough ah that's strange um or you can change whatever you want uh, for instance for water it's not very interesting to have a combined so I will just remove that there's too much information to be readable and I get just water as a direct derivation no water pistol on water tower or, or whatnot and again as before if you click on it sometimes you if there's information you say oh voda in slovak or something sloven so sorry uh, is a masculine and feminine if you go to um, french should be somewhere also oh no french is not in the same family it's come from aqua not onda but oh, Unda again, since it's Latin, you see that there's all the Whitaker latent frequency and information. And there should be vodka somewhere. Yes, exactly. Which is fun because if you look, all the same language are more or less together. Like you see that Swedish, Danish, Peruvian, probably Icelandish, and things like that are in this way. So check voda something is here uh, i don't see russian oh it's here and there should be instead of two okay why not describe by source three that's something strange explanatory dictionary okay and but there's no go back go back uh, there's no vodka but there should be somewhere later on you can add it if you want um, and that's the fun part of Wikidata query service that you just need to change one small part of the code here and you can have a lot of different things um uh, I see that there was another all word for the chip to juggle which gave shakal in French, I guess. Yes, exactly. Jokol, shakal, shakal in Turkish, probably the jok uh, uh my uh, Yeah, mm, my oh yeah, and it's not Arabic anymore. It's Farsi, so uh, definitely not able to read it. Read the A here, an L, Al at the end. That's it. Which came ultimately from the Sanskrit. That I can't read ever. Uh, Dolan can be fun. Um, Oh, Dolor. Yeah, Jan, uh, if you have uh, a Swedish shakal, please link it. Dollar in 
let's start from the French because why not? It's not linked to anything. Uh, let's start from English. Is make more sense. Oh, that's there's only Polish, which is stated in Wikidata as coming from dollar in English. That's that's sad. Um, yeah, derivation is mm, far from complete, obviously, because it's not or it's not always easy to know if it's oh does it come from English or does it come from something else in between from English? Uh, like I know that for the French lexema, lexemes, there's a lot of uh, indication uh, come from this word in Latin. And I know it's not true because I know there's a word in between in Middle French and Old French. And yeah, it's better than nothing, but not always easy. Um, and for international neologism, uh, words that appears. Uh, it's not always easy, and you need to find a reliable, reliable source to find it. There should be Taler somewhere in this. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Tola, Dola come itself from German, old German something Taler. Obviously, but it's not there. Uh, that's it. Uh, did I share it? I think I shared it. Oh no, Maya shared it. So you have this query too. Uh, thanks, Maya. That's that was a very fun query. Um, I'm running a bit out of ID. I don't know if you have some, but I have an other solution otherwise. So if you have ID, put them in a the chat. We have still some time. Um, what I wanted to show is uh, the project WDLD. Uh, Wikidata lexicographical data. Uh, L, which one has aubergine in it? What? What did you do? How did you find aubergine? Okay, that's fun. So, Danish, Swedish, and English come from the French. French comes from the Catalan. Catalan from the Arabic. Arabic comes from the Basque. I am reading. Okay, that's fun. No, the Basque come from Arabic too. That makes more sense. And Arabic come from uh, pers person Farsi and itself coming from Sanskrit. Yeah, everything goes back to Sanskrit. That's unusual in what. What came first, eggplant or eggplant? Um, Sanskrit came first. If, in lexicography, if you have a, a doubt, you can say, oh, that come from. Sanskrit and probably from some proto Indo European before, but they didn't write, so we don't know. Okay, back to this page uh, with a shortcut WDLD. Uh, it's very useful because this is where we have all the overview, documentation, some tools, uh, everything, not everything, but most of the thing about Lexims is here you have a discussion page where you can ask a lot of questions uh, oh how should i model that you can ask also for um, everything you want uh, for instance you see that uh, recently uh, uh, lea put the announcement for the 30 lexico days um, there's some other questions some with dictionary which is you know, not always simple but Always fun. Some, yeah, it's interesting. 
Oh, I missed this one actually. It's very interesting to me. I will look at it. Whatever. Um, and you have, if you want more useful queries, I like this one because there's a lot of specific queries for first maintenance and repair. If you want to check everything that shouldn't be there like that, you have that. But then you have some fun query, some about statistics, and then some about um, uh, various things. I, I like this one a lot. Which is the word in French or in Basque um, that has have all the five vowel IOU. Uh, for instance, you know that oiseau is the shortest word in French with all the letters. Uh, for instance, and if you go back to the query itself, it's uh, quite a simple query. Oh, you see a type here. We spoke about type earlier, about form and senses. L is, but technically you don't need it because if you do DCT language, you know you are already on the right type, but whatever. And um, which has one R, E, E, U, and you take the length and order by length. So you have uh, oiseau, poireau, sequoia, évanouir, things like that. And the shortest is oiseau, that's right. And if you want, uh, this is not needed ever, you can do directly here, for instance, in English, because in English I have no idea what would be the result if it works. But here you are. And uh, sequoia, no, like the second word in French, that's fun. Dialogue, equation. There's several times dialogue, probably as a noun and verb and things like that. Euphoria, whatever. And if you want the five vowels in the alphabetic order, uh, I'm not sure it's that complicated. I'm not sure how to do it, and it's already five to, to seven, so. But uh, I've seen. You can ask me later. I will work on that because that's a fun question to work on. And anyway, you have here a lot of other question uh, queries that you can look at if you want to have fun. Yeah, I mean, exactly. So I was thinking something like that. Uh, maybe it works directly, actually. Maybe it's not that complicated. Because yes, it's basically here, you put it there. So it starts, maybe there can be something before the A and after the U. And we'll see if it's too long or not. Oh, that works. So the shortest word in English is facetious. Uh, if you want in French for fun. It's 92 for some reason. Okay. Très histoire palestinien occupé. That's a fun one. Um, the thing is, it's strictly a A. If you look at the previous one I did, I include some variation of A, E, O, U to get all the one uh, I wanted. Uh, but I will take this one and share it with you. And thanks, Maya, for thinking the reg regex shorter than, sh quicker than I thought about it. But yeah, you can put maybe A, A, and things like that. Uh, e, O, U. Uh, is there a I in French? I guess. Some things like that. But it gave the same result. Whatever. So I see that Yon post something, which is what? Oh, yes, very good. So I will start 
first by that which is the 30 lexicodase to finish uh, you see that there will be a lot of new activities uh, um, in the coming days and i didn't add my next queries uh, but i need to do it and uh, tomorrow in french because i see that there's some french people um, there's a discussion for one hour tomorrow uh, at this hour actually uh, or later i'm not sure if it's utc or not or ct um i'll check and update it um some documentation that are very important and dan chic from wikimedia dutchland is here to help us do documentation uh, the day after tomorrow some other uh, abstract wikipedia and lexim for instance by denny will be very interesting i guess i'm pretty i'm sure uh, documentation again and the climate climate lexim week which is done by yon present here uh, is a list of concepts you see there's almost 200 of them and he did some very strange queries but don't be afraid that's just this part taking the list we have above <coughs> and the id exactly i don't want to say something wrong during this week the focus is to improve lexim derived from this glossary it's not a competition it's a collaborative week uh, the first goal is to create the lexim and then to improve it i guess uh, have an item back to this one obviously this way we can follow the, uh, this page oh you have a sub page to the account with the list area queries nice so actually is there a button in this list yeah a button has two words oh um i guess britain will have all of them soon and french french only has four of them that's that's bad so basically at the end of the week i want to see everyone in the language you speak at almost 200 here and this is lexicon but i guess we can do over queries to get our stuff uh, i'm not sure i know how to say all of these words in britain yeah, Milankovic cycle, North Atlantic oscillation. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That's at least a very fun uh, experiment. And if it works well, I'll try to do one myself later on, uh, maybe the week just after. Uh, about day of the month for something, I need to think about it. El Nino is easy. Uh, is it? Is it El Nino in L language? Because if you look, basically what you can do as a starter is look here at the label. If it has already been translated, you see that yeah, El Nino is indeed El Nino in most languages. So except here, it's Al Nino. That's good. El oh, you see Asturian for instance, El Nino, Azerbaijan. Eh? is El Nino like that and you see well, that can be some fun Nino in uh, Greek obviously that's fun because in Arabic language or yeah Persian Farsi is not Arabic but still it's not always the same translation exactly like this one is Al and this one probably is El I guess whatever obviously japanese there could be some fun in that and it's just not create it but also improve it uh, like is el nino masculine or feminine in french masculine i guess i hope but that can be some fun in doing stuff like that so anyway uh, this is one of the events uh, so the dates again is 5 to 11 april april uh, so there will be over question documentation oh daniel michen is doing a brainstorming session about leveraging text corpora that's that's very interesting how we can use text corpora corpus of text existing outside 
uh, to improve very interesting question and a discussion based on meaning is very useful a lingua libre session is scheduled um, but since lingua libre has some problem right now i'm not sure it we we will be or uh, exactly florian poslovich will be able to do it but uh, we will get bad on that and there's a obviously a closing session with showcasing and everything uh, don't hesitate to look back at that there's much more to that will be added and there's if you don't know yet leak sims there's fun session you can see videos for instance the video made uh, last weekend by Yon and albin one hour more or less what i did but more introduction so that could be fun too uh, this one is on youtube but you can find it elsewhere i guess and if you are really interesting you can put yourself as a participant to be pinged for having more information and and i'm guessing i'm mostly done uh, you can see behind me that it's getting dark in Brittany here. Uh, so there's that. Uh, there's a lot more of queries to do, obviously. I just did the basic one in one hour. Uh, oh, Evzen uh, has one more question. Fun time, the short word with voyage in alphabetical language is you Oh, that's fun. And that's yeah exactly what I thought. Cadet uh, you because there's a e anyway in my query. I just ask for a specific e uh, with without accent, so it will not have given the result. But that's maybe I can look into that more. Uh, I know that the dictionaries has a lot of fun list made here and there uh, that i can probably look and make similar or equivalent queries to oh all the words with just this letter like lipogram or things like that that can be a lot of fun uh, on this direction um, there's still lack of data in, in wikidata leak seems but there's already a lot of data also so it's probably good enough to do some fun query like that. Uh, Fzin, you should totally ask me on Discord or things like that for more queries. I look into it. Um, and that's it. If you have no more question, <laughs> we would do a clack bit. Okay, uh, that's fun. Um, if you have no more questions, uh, I leave you to it. Um, there's um, on the Twitch for Wikimedia France somewhere. Uh, let me find the link again. Um, where is it? Ah. Um, where is it? Because today is Wikimedia, uh, Wikimedia, Wikipedia in French birthday, and there's something. It's today, I guess. Or did I mix up? Oh, I'm tired. Maybe. Um, oh, it's on YouTube, not on. So if you are fr speaking French and you want to go uh, have a happy birthday uh, to French Wikipedia, you can go to this YouTube channel. I'll go there after a snack. Um, and that's it. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> happy birthday. That's not my birthday, um, but close enough. Uh, thanks for the stream. Have a super great week. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I think it's one of the best people uh, in number I've got. So thanks, everyone. Uh, if you want um, to come back next week, um, 
you can have more queries probably again about Lexim, probably in French next week, maybe in English for week afterwards. Um, I look into that. I'll tell you it will be on the program of the event uh, 30 lexicodes. Uh, thanks. Have fun. Keep editing. Do sparkle. Bye.